Welcome back, Canaanites, for my biggest theory to date. Prepare yourselves, because you're going to learn some serious shit. As you may know, I recently put out a video on how human governance in the Halo universe works, explaining all the different governing bodies and how they interact and stuff. Check it out if you haven't seen it. Like, go check it out now. Go, 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 go. Anyway, now that you're back, I assume, in there, we talked about how one Ruth Charit was elected president of the UEG following the Covenant War. Well, I don't think she's who she seems to be. Yes, as the video title suggests, I think that Ruth Chart is in fact the former head of Oni, Margaret Perengoski. Let's lay out the evidence. To start, where did Ruth come from? We don't know, she just suddenly appears in the fiction out of nowhere. That doesn't happen to people. Second, have you seen Chart and Perengoski in the same place at the same time? Me neither. But there's more to it than that. We all know Perengoski is a power-hungry monster. She was already in control of Oni in 2553, so to take complete control, she'd assume the false identity of Ruth Chart and rig the election to win. While it's true that Perengoski stepped down as head of Oni by 2555, she was succeeded by Saren Osman, her protege in every sense of the word, practically a puppet for Perengoski to manipulate. But I hear you saying, Perengoski is described as being of slight build, which Ruth Charat clearly is not. And you are right, dear viewer. Clearly, Perengoski has had some prosthetics made to alter her appearance when she's President Charat. And there you have it, in order to take total control of humanity, Perengoski became president under a false identity and continues to manipulate Oni through Osman. What do you think of this theory? 100% correct? Of course you do! I'm Halo Cannon, I can't be wrong! You dare question my authority! Thanks for watching! Hey guys, 